Hey, what's going on YouTube? J Gemmo TV HD. We back out here again with the best key power pack. And it's been a couple of days now. Obviously, I did a little video a couple of days ago saying, you know, this is my first impressions. I was kind of gassed about the whole magnetic thing. Um, you know, the USB-C and the fact that it's got a 10,000 milliamp battery. So you're essentially getting three times the battery life that you would normally get with the Nintendo Switch system on its own. And I can just... I could just confirm to you right now, fam, that like I've had it. I think I had it from like Monday to Wednesday, and I just didn't even charge my Nintendo Switch. I just kept it connected to this, and I kept it moving, kind of thing, because the battery was a madness. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna go into a in-depth review of everything here now, because obviously we got the stand here, and we've got the little accessory um bag slash case slash whatever they want to call it. And um, yeah, there was a few little niggles, a few things that I missed out in the first impressions like video that I wanted to, um, you know, just obviously include. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, so the um, the power case or the power grip, as I like to call it, because obviously it's got the two grips on the side. Um, just to give you guys a quick recap, it's a very simplistic design. You've got the little, you know, logo on the back there. You've got the two grips on the side, which can both be removed if you don't really want to use the grips. You know, the grips are not by force. On the inside now, you've got a big magnet. Um, and yeah, on the bottom, you've got a USB type C down there. And you've got a little power button which shows you your power indicator, which is made up of four LEDs. Um, with that, you've also got the clamp, which makes it compatible with the Nintendo Switch. You know, put it in there. There we go, good girl. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the clamp leaves ports open um, all around the Nintendo Switch. So, you know, you can still plug things in. Nothing is covered. Um, but yeah, essentially... Except for the back. Yeah, that except is. for the back. And that <laughs> so yeah, what this is, um, it's because it's a magnet. You can just oh, you want to do it, don't you? Go on, then. go on. You you put it on. Yeah, show us now. Show us. We got it like this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's a magnet. Um, and yeah, it's kind of cool. You know, just put the magnet on. Boom. Um, if you want, you can put the um, put the grips on. So I'm gonna slide these in. Oops. There we go. Thank you. And I'm going to slide this grip in. There we go. And now you've got power grips. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of cool. I like the whole design. Um, and the battery life is it is a mad thing. It is three hours. I don't even know if it's three times longer. Um, it's it's just mad long. I've just not seen it run out of battery yet. Um, I feel like it takes over two hours to charge to 100% though. That was on my first charge. I've only charged it like um, twice. Um, and they've both taken around like an hour and a half or two hours um, for this to go from one LED to four LEDs. So, yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind. I guess you just charge it overnight kind of thing with the USB-C that I use with the Nintendo Switch. But, yeah, um, <coughs> in terms of, um, you know, negatives, I've only really got two. The first negative is the Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure how many grams it is, but um, it's a <coughs> calm little device. Um, this feels about the same weight, if not a little tiny bit lighter than the Nintendo Switch. So when you have both of these together now, you're essentially getting double the weight of the Nintendo Switch. And it's, um, it's just mad. It's mad heavy. It's, I'm not going to lie. Um, I mean, me as an adult, I'm kind of cool with it. It got a bit, um, uncomfortable when I was using it for a long gaming session. Um, I'm sure, you know, most of you know people will not use it that long as I do, but yeah. It got uncomfortable in a long gaming session. Um, my little girl feels that it is really heavy. She prefers to take this off and just play it um, normally kind of thing. Yeah. It is too heavy for her. But sometimes I'll play on the TV. But sometimes she'll play on the TV. Um, but yeah, that's one of the issues that you got to watch out for. Um, another issue is the fact that because of the nature of its magnetic design, even though it is kind of fastened, it's not super secure. So, for example, if I'm pressing the R2 button... What happens is, as you can see, you know, if I press it too hard, um, the Nintendo Switch actually moves out of position like this. And um, that, you know, it can be quite detrimental if you're in a competitive that's what, game. That's what happens to a magnet to do, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> you know, you got to um, 
it's a shame that it's not just a normal plastic clamp that you can just clamp on and keep in place. I might even consider super gluing this bit to the clamp so that it's just, oh you know, God. one, um, <laughs> oh, can I even get it off? There we go. Yeah, so that it's just one product because I feel like the clamp and this don't need to be separate. Um, they can just be together and that would have been calm for me personally. But um, yeah, that's what they've done. Those are the only really two issues I have with it. Apart from that, it's a brilliant device. Um, it feels really comfortable as well, obviously, with the two grips. And the battery life is just, it's just mad. It's just literally mad. I haven't really charged it this week at all. But um, yeah, so yeah, let me put that to the side. We'll go on to the case. So yeah, this is the um, the little carry case, the travel pack. Um, obviously, the main thing which is cool about it is it fits with the um, the power grip. The power grip and the Nintendo Switch, they can both fit in here and it's all good to go. I have had, you know, um, previous power packs that can go onto the Nintendo Switch, but unfortunately, um, you have to put them separate in your bag because they can't fit in with the Nintendo Switch itself. So yeah, at least you can do that with this power case. Apart from that, you're not really fitting much else in this case, though. You're not really going to fit that much extra Joy-Cons, um, that much extra anything, to be honest. Um, you've got a little, you know, room here for game cartridges. Yeah. And you've got a little pocket here, um, which I guess you can put some Joy-Cons in, but nothing really too thick can fit in there. So um, it's a bit okay. pointless. And Daddy you've also Grandma. got... <laughs> yeah, and as I was saying, it's got this um, this little kind of back pocket bit which you can hide stuff behind, I guess. Um, but apart from that, not really much going on. It's got the indentations there that you can, you know, they're made for the actual grip kind of thing. So it does fit snugly. Um, but apart from that, it literally just fits the Nintendo Switch and the grip and not much more. Now, this product... Um, they got a little stand that they've included and basically, um, I didn't get it at first, I'm not going to lie. I was like, what is this? What kind of cheap stand is this? It's like, it's very dead. It just, it just stands. Um, I mean, that's what it's supposed to do, but yeah, it just stands. It's very nice and portable though, because it's, you know, it comes in two pieces. Um, but yeah, I didn't get it because I was just like, yo, most times, like if I put it up here, for example, you know, my, my switch is kind of, you know, propped up, but it keeps it keeps slipping off. But what I understood is that these two bits here, they actually line up with the vents on the rear of the switch right here. So what you do is you go boom and you go plow. That's it. And now you're not, you're nice you're nice and steady. And yeah, you could, you've just got lots of different levels of that, you know. You can go boom like so. There you go. There you go. You're nice. You're nice. Hold on, let me get a different angle. Right, there we go, see? And then, obviously, well, not obvious, actually. I didn't realise this until I just read up on it. These two sides are not, um, they're not identical, obviously. So, you've got different angles with this side. And if you turn this around now, you've also got a different angle with this side. So, you've got, like, a kind of shorter, more upright angle here. There you go, as you can see. I hope you can see anyway. Boom. <laughs> as you can kind of see, let me just try and do it like that. And then if you was to remove that now, and then switch this around and put that in here. Oops. You've got a more upright angle now. So it's very, it's a very marginal change in angle. But um, yeah, the, what they've said is they've got 20 different angles <laughs> that you can you know, choose from kind of thing. Um, it's kind of cool. I'm not, it's not, you know, that deep. But yeah, that's that's what you got kind of thing. So yeah, that is um the whole range of best key products there. So if you are going for the super duper early bird kit, um, this is exactly what you'll get. You'll get this case, you'll get the um, power grip, and you'll get the stand all together. But yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. Um, and if you're looking for the link to this, I think it's going live in a second anyway. But yeah, the Kickstarter link is in the description section below. Thanks for watching. Shout out to Best Key for hooking it up. Shout out to my little girl for randomly coming into my video. <laughs> J Jamo out.